Good morning, Geek Tree Nation. I'm Kane Martin, and I just woke up. Good morning, Geek Tree Nation. I'm Dre the True Snake, and I just woke up. Mm. Morning. Captain America Good morning, Cake Drain Nation, and welcome to another episode of I Just Woke Up Superhero Week Edition. As you guys know, this week is Superhero Week. Yesterday we talked about our favorite superheroes. So today I thought it only best for us to talk about our favorite super villains. Are you ready? It's gonna be awesome. Now let's go to Drake to see exactly what is up. What's up Kane and Cake Drain Nation? Rise and shine, these are the bad guys you love to hate. The first one I wanna talk about is I think the most underrated superhero or super villain ever, Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is one of the most awesome supervillains in Marvel. A lot of people will say, oh, he's whatever. Let me tell you about this. It's a guy that wears a metal mask. He's mostly metal. He controls electricity. He controls metal. He wears an awesome cloak. He's a huge threat that people underestimate all the time. And he's gone. He's fought so many in the Marvel Universe. And he's just an amazing supervillain for that, and I think it's really awesome. Plus, he's you know emperor over an entire country, so that's really cool. Now, my first favorite supervillain is the man himself. He was the inspiration for Marvel's Deadpool, Deathstroke. That's right, Mr. Slade Wilson himself. Got to throw it back, Deathstroke, man. He is awesome. Talk about one-eyed ninja assassin from the shadows. You know, he used to be in like super special forces until he was betrayed and his heart got all twisted and he's proficient in swords and guns and explosives and hand-to-hand -hand combat and all that jazz. And besides, his outfit looks really friggin' cool. He turned into kind of a, you know, an anti-hero. And he's, a, a lot of you know him from things like Teen Titans, um, he was actually a villain in the Teen Titans comic books, that was like his first appearance. Um, he's also been in, you know, like Arkham Origins, he's been in some of the DC Universe uh, animated movies, and um, I, I hope they put him in a, in a live action movie one day, you know. Zack Snyder, get on it. Deathstroke. Maybe not in Dawn of Justice, but the next one. The second one I want to talk about is the Riddler from Batman. The Riddler was always the one that was smarter than Batman, like could confuse him and have, you know, kind of outwit Batman at times. And he was such a goofy character, um, especially the original TV version and the movie version that came out, Batman Forever. Jim Carrey playing the Riddler was, I think, perfect casting because it was fits it so well. And also, the Riddler is the, one of the more well-known villains that people kind of don't admit to liking, but they really do. Green and purple all the way. Now my next favorite super villain is the King of Metal, Magneto. Now Magneto is just awesome. The way he's portrayed in the, in the movies especially and in the comic books and, and in the video games and stuff, he's just so cool. I mean, he can manipulate metal with his mind. How cool is that? You know, like whenever in the second X-Men, when he makes the, the metal come out of the guy's blood, now, I don't care if you got metal claws, that is cooler. Just saying. Magneto. Um, I love how he's not, I mean, he, he's, he's a super villain, but he's not really a bad guy. I mean, he just had some bad crap happen to him, and that's that's a lot of times what kind of um, sets the supervillains on their path of destruction, and a lot of them, in the case of even Deathstroke, is that they're not so much supervillains, they just have more of a twisted sense of justice and a lot of personal issues that get in the way and 
put them toe to toe with the superheroes. So yeah, Magneto. Mm. For the brotherhood. Last one I want to bring up is one of my all time favorite Spider-Man villains, Carnage. Yes, Carnage. I do love Venom, but his spawn is amazing. The, the symbiote that split off of him was called Carnage. Carnage took over a um, ex-convict killer named Cletus Cassidy. Now, this just kind of, see, it wasn't just his hate for the world, and he wasn't just a dude with issues. He was psychotic. Even Venom fought Carnage. Carnage was one of the more evil, more psychotic villains that uh, Spider-Man ever fought. And he's just this, he's a crazed criminal plus a alien symbiote that enhances all that. Come on, what's not to love about that? And my third and final favorite supervillain is Spider-Man's arch nemesis, Venom. Talk about just the epitome of supervillainness. And once again, he's probably not the most sinister evil dude that's faced Spider-Man, but he is probably the most long-lasting recurring villain in Spider-Man comics. And he's awesome. He's like, you know, freaking big hulking Spider-Man dude got all of his powers but a bad attitude. And he wears black, because, you know, black's cool and stuff. It's like Toad's hip, especially in the 90s. My wife's back there. That's creep on her. Hello. Hello. Anyways, yeah, Venom. Kill Spidey. Blah, 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 blah. So I hope you guys enjoyed our list of super villains, uh, and hope you guys will are excited for the rest of Superhero Week. I know I am. We got so much more to cover, so be excited for that. All right, peace out. Remember, peace. My butler's gone. He went away.